Hey, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and I am going to be doing a kitting up. This is the 75 by 200 shot link canvas um, that I'm kitting up. Now, I don't want the canvas out underneath. The last time I dealt with short link canvas and this where these came from, where the, where the um, product came from, I had a bucket load of static. So instead of, I don't want to take the risk of the plastic being part of the course for the static. So I'm not going to have the canvas underneath, which is what I normally do when I kit up. I have put these in the freezer and there's still some static, but it doesn't feel like it was, but there's still static. So the way I plan to tackle this is I have my squares of dryer paper. I have some dryer sheets and I'm actually going to use those while I'm kitting up. And I know, pop these back in the freezer while I set my desk up and after I've done my labels. So I'll do the labels, I'll set the desk up um, and I will kit up back very shortly. Alrighty, I have just said, thought it was better that I just put that away. So the canvas is pretty big and I did, my camera is just not playing nice lately. Hang on, I'll see if, as soon as you start moving it slightly, just plays up, there we go. So I photographed um, all the um, symbols and numbers, that's so basically the legend. Down here camera. Focus down here. There we go. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll set these labels up. Um, I'll label my containers and then I will come back to you after I've done this nice and quick. Okay, so labelled up, I have one, two, three, four, five, well I have nine um, empty containers which I will be highly likely needing for my bigger bags. Great thing about um, being in um, the bottles, I can get these nice and neatened up once I'm all set up and good to go. I'll take, I'll move this out for just taking out the empty containers. So what I do, I will fill them and start um, across that way. What I have got is paper and dryer sheets, and these guys are still frosty from out of the freezer. And I'm going to work from the smallest to the largest bags. Um, which means I work do the AB drills first. And this is where I will be finding out about the static and the struggle, the real struggle with static. Um, I think some of you have seen this and noticed it. I have a tissue box, um, an empty tissue, well it's not always empty. When I kit up, and when everybody kits up, you get these bags and they take up so much space in the rubbish bin. So what you find is if you put them in the tissue box, they stay inside the tissue box and don't end up in absolute horror mess. Let's 
stunning little eye bead rolls. They're pretty. Okay. Now, one of the things that um, has frustrated me on other diamond paintings, and where did that go? There it is. is DMC, well, one is DMC numbers and the lack thereof, like this one has. This, this does have some numbers. Well, not some numbers. It does have numbers on it. So it does have its own codes, which means for me that if I buy any more, um, I will be able, you know, if I buy any more of the short length canvas, I will be able to, you know, I will have some left over. I'll, I'll have some spares. But with, when I did my first short length canvas, I was frustrated with um, the legend being out of order on the canvas, number order out of on the canvas, um, and couldn't work it out why. Um, as I got through it, I realised that the reason why, once I started at sorting them out, I found the reason why is because it was quantity. So while I was able to, while I was doing it, once I got it into quantity order, I actually took a step out because normally when I hit up, when I um, unbox, I normally am there going, putting them, putting the colours into their like 100s, 200s, 300s, 400s. This one, because it was um, in quantity, I was pretty quick to be able to see. Um, once I sort of made the quantities, I was I was able to actually check them off quicker than if they were actually by DMC number order. Okay. And the static has started. Okay. Static has started, so <laughs> And step straight into onto the dryer sheets. Put one in there. Okay. Hopefully this works. <laughs> Can't pour it in off the dryer sheets. But how about that dry shed's just too big, isn't it? This is going to be hella messy. messy. Right, yeah. So that actually did take the static out of those that I poured on there. That dry sheet's too big for me to manage, so I'm just going to get those folds out first, just so that it's a straightforward piece of dryer paper, dryer sheet. Oh, this is going to be in here for the long haul by the look of it. Okay, three, three, five, eight, seven, three. Scissors. I should really take the lids off before I put things in the bottom. Oh, I'll cut open containers. My static on that one. There's static on this one. I don't think it's too bad, really. One, two, three. I know there's some horrors there. I can see them. They're just sitting there in their pile, in their plastic bags, waiting for me.
Get out. Oh, wow. That made a difference. That made a huge difference. I'll still put a dry sheet in there. Get one out. That made a big difference doing that. Okay, so I will um, do this. I'm going to time lapse it. So I will be watching, um, catching up on all the YouTube videos. Um, while I do this, because uh, I think I've got a good couple of hours here. One thing that I will say with when we did the um, DP a thon, ended up, I ended up with a bucket load more people, subscribers to watch. I've been trying to work out a way to watch them, and I think I've got it figured. And hopefully, hopefully, in my if you watch my fortnightly vlog, I will touch on that in my fortnightly vlog. But, um, wow, that really does work, pouring it onto the dryer sheet first. So yeah, I'm going to put this onto fast forward and um, when I'm done, or if I get to any interesting bits, I will um, come back to you. Stop here and show you. This is how much static there is. So that's just coating the inside of the bag. But once I put it onto the dryer sheet, give it a quick wipe of the dryer, they are not bouncing all over the place. I've got a couple. It's probably because I just lifted the bag up. But that extra step makes all the difference. Yeah, you know, <laughs> where my fingers are getting stuck to them, yes, but it's taken the static out so well, so well. Wish I'd, dis I'd discovered doing this earlier. I don't know whether anybody else does this. I know the big suggestion people have is um, to use dry sheets. But I've not heard the suggestion of actually pouring the dryer sheet, pouring it onto the dryer sheet. Oh. So I will continue on. Okay, I'm just doing a brief stop here. What I'm going to do is um, 
I'm going to actually, for why I just managed that with the static, it's made a huge difference. So I'm just going to do a short little um, video in between this. I'm going to do one with one of the colours that I've got. Um, the, the bag's really static here. I'm going to actually do a recording of it because I'm going to take full benefit of the shitload of static and how I've managed to make it so much easier. So you might see a little bit of a difference between now and the next time I start. So I'm um, back in a second. Okay, that was not as long as the last time I dealt with um, these drills. <laughs> but I am now all kitted up. So what I have is all my drills are there. I have my extras, which now will actually go in here. Get that kit out. There we go store all my spares in this which is really good. I semi wish I had like a hang on a second get past that noisy one. Right. I have obviously I've got Craftmates Lockable. I have the Elizabeth Ward bead storage and I have these. Um, I've got a heap of projects on the run and they are just about all big big projects um, so which then means that I don't have storage containers uh, storage systems for everything but I will say this um, set up here hopefully I'll be able to shut the bag let's see if I shut the bag quick <laughs> the lily that just all popped out flipped it too fast Oh, let's see. Come on. Be nice. Get in there. Okay, without the drill kit in there. <laughs> what else can I take out? I can actually probably take the paper out now. Um, that will shut. What I might actually do is just put some more, do some labels up and just get rid of some of the single bags there. Um, and then sort it. That will then give me a little bit more space there and I'll be able to get the toolkit in up into the top section. But otherwise they're all there. So um, that's it, all kitted up. The canvas is all sorted out. So going on forward, it will just be drilling and drilling. Mm -hmm. 